Hi, and welcome to the BSSS e-content video. My name is Piyush Pradhan, and I belong to the Department of English. Our today's topic of the day is paragraph writing skills. We are going to cover various essay essentials, how to write a proper essay. Now, we are looking at a paragraph. What exactly is a paragraph? As you can see, a paragraph is a group of sentences which we try to organize around a central topic. There can be different types of essays and based on that, we have got different features of essays such as an expository essay, a persuasive essay, a narrative kind of storytelling of the paragraph, or it can be even creative in every sense of the nature it is taken up by. So we are taking the essay writing essentials in the form of an art. And essay writing is exactly is an art. And the way how we take up the different elements, they constitute to take up the proper line structures. This is what we have to remember. If you are a writer, if you are a poet, or even if you are a simple layman, so all of those things signify and explain the way how the essay essentials are taken up. We are going to now look at how the essay paragraph needs to be taken up. We have to see that first of all, it's a single idea representation. This is what we have to bear in our mind. Secondly, when we begin a topic sentence, the structure needs to be very sound. Our thoughts and ideas must not be disturbed, otherwise it's going to affect our structure. Then we are looking at how to actually support our main idea, whether that idea is argumentative, whether that idea is suggestive, and so on. Then we have to look at the coherence aspect of the line structures. Coherence means when something is taken up very intelligibly, so that we can actually maintain a consistent flow. So consistency of something is also very pivotal to make the reader understand what you want to present. Now, we are looking at the various writing objectives. There can be different objectives a person can have before he can sit down and jot down some selected themes and topics for essay paragraph. So we are looking at the content for our readers that should sound very informative. And at the same time, a reader should be able to reach to the concluding idea. This is what is very, very important to take up. Now, when we look at an effective paragraph skills, what are the other things to carry about? Well, we have to see that it must represent a single idea. Secondly, it should be supportive to the idea, which is very much important because it describes the interlinking of your thoughts and ideas. And that's what the reader is going to understand. Then, of course, how you take up the vocabulary and the sentences so that they sound very strategically organized. And this automatically shows a, a flow. And you know how to maintain that flow. So that same impact will be there to the reader who's going to read that as a paragraph. Now, we have to see that whatever thing we take, the objective should be in the use from the initial stage of the essay till you conclude it. If you are going to put some other aspects in it, then I think it's going to disturb the entire uh, sense. So in order to maintain that essence, it's important that you have the connectivity with your reader. Now comes how to ensure an essay when it comes to informing up the readers by taking up the academic writing part. Academic writing part of the paragraph with a very powerful choice of the theme or topic will certainly going to entertain the readers. And that's how a reader, when connects, knows what you want to say and how you have reached to the end section of the essay. 
So that becomes a concluding idea. Now we are going to look at the four essential elements to form an essay content. This is very important to take up. First of all, we are going to look at the use of the unity. What exactly is the unity in um, understanding the entire paragraph? Writer must possess the ability to reveal up a gripping idea. Of course, as I told you a short while ago, and I'm telling you right now, time and again, that your part of the idea should be able to grip the overall thought that you have to have the overall impact on your readers. The paragraph united needs to be surrounded up till the main idea is taken up with supportive sentences. You have to make up your mind and at the same time you have to learn to decide smartly about which point to put up in the topic sentence. Most of the times it is seen that when any person takes up an essay theme or topic, that person is unaware of how an, uh, a theme needs to be taken and how it's going to work out. Will it, will it have any effect on the readers or not? So th these are the complexities which are easily understood. Now comes the order in which the words need to be taken for further line structuring. Now, order means to comply with the different aspects of the constructions of the sentences and the way how the sentences need to be organized, especially so as to support the overall sentence structure of the paragraph. Now, there are three things that we are going to take up in that. First comes the order of importance. Second comes the chronology everything needs to be choreographed in such a way that the points are choreographed in a proper way. And then comes the logical order presentation of specific detail. So order, chronology, and logical aspects. So I hope you have understood that part. Now comes the coherence. What exactly is the coherence? It is the appreciable quality. And that quality bounds you to the written web of sentences. So whatever chunk of words you take up, it is like a web of those words and they are responsible to make up the sentences. All right. When you take up that, it should be understandable and eligible at the same time. This is what you have to bear in your mind very carefully. Now, sentences must also be taken up in such a way that it should have a globalized effect. If you fail to maintain with the world space, then I think you will be confined to the use of the theme and the way how the words and structures are taken up. So when you take up the global aspect, you know how to connect the words with one another. All right, necessarily. And that's how the words can be taken up for the essay paragraph altogether. And lastly, we have got completeness. Now, sentences constructed need to be very vivid and at the same time strongly supported by the concerned idea. It can be even in a form of a narration that you are taking up to make your readers realize how that idea equals to your narrative thinking or thought. And lastly, you're supposed to summarize the main central idea to strengthen the topic sentence. Now, we have reached to the stage where we need to recheck over our paragraph. First of all, you need to check the paragraph for poor grammar use of the structures, grammatical uh, complications will always affect your overall reading aspect. So you should always maintain a proper grammar accuracy and please focus on the use of the words. Words must, must not be misspelled. So this is what you have to take care of and bear in mind 
so that the reader may not be confused at all. Now, what I want to further say that if there is a use of bad grammar accompanied by the spelling mistakes, then it can bring a significant change. And that is the clear-cut change which your readers can actually witness. So, when a reader going to read that particular essay passage, it's going to lead a negative impact on the overall quality of the passage. You see, if my memory serves me right, it hardly takes just five or 10 minutes for anyone to judge how powerful, how crispy the use of the essay theme was all about. And if you fail to connect with your reader, then I think the readers are going to have major complications. So you have to maintain a very strong impact. Otherwise, it's going to give a negative impact on that. And of course, please don't skip the small mistakes. Most of us try to use the paragraph passage in such a way that people tend to jump from one word to another. So don't try to do that. Don't skip through the words. And at the same time, there should not be any flaws. If any major flaws are seen, it becomes very unimpressive and the entire paragraph becomes totally spoiled. So I hope my audiences are truly relishing the way how the grammar sections and the spelling mistakes are taken up to understand the entire essay paragraph.